the Namib Desert, stretching for 1,200 kilometers along the northwest of Namibia, is one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Which makes it all the more remarkable that the Earth's largest land mammal, the elephant, has made a home of it. Although the desert elephant is not a true subspecies of the more common African elephant, they have undergone some necessary physiological and behavioral changes in order to survive in this rugged and hostile terrain. Wider feet are used on sand, much the same as snowshoes on snow. A smaller body, important for desert survival as it minimizes water loss, makes their legs look longer and thinner than the more common savanna elephant. In startling contrast to the dry Namib, the lush rainforests of Ghana in West Africa are home to a completely different sort of elephant. Forest elephants, while smaller than their southern cousins, have oversized ears and specially adapted tusks straighter than other elephants to avoid getting snagged on the forest growth. Perhaps the luckiest of all elephants are those residing on the banks of the Chobe River in northern Botswana. Wallowing and splashing about in cool water is perhaps an elephant's favorite pastime. So it is indeed a quirk of nature that these desert elephants have settled and adapted so well in this waterless environment. These highly specialized creatures can go four days without water and travel 25 kilometers daily to forage. To find water here is a major challenge and it's very seldom found on the surface. The desert elephants must dig for it, but how they know exactly where remains a mystery. either communicated through generations or an uncanny ability to sense exactly where to dig, these desert dwellers always seem to know exactly where they will find their next drink. Definitely not enough to bathe in, but certainly enough to sustain another day's trek and on to the next waterhole. The Namib Desert is linked together by many dry riverbeds, which the elephants use as their personal highways. These dry channels see water for a short period once a year and are the best place for a desert dweller to find much needed food. Unlike most other elephants, the desert variety seems to sense that they cannot just push over trees, nibble on the juiciest bits and then move on. Food is short here and they very rarely break off more than they can chew. In this case, their bark is worth every bite and contains the much needed nutrients a desert elephant needs to survive. Like all elephants, the cows and calves normally remain in a breeding herd with the bulls visiting when needed. Because food and water are scarce, the herds have a far greater range than other elephants. But despite this shortage and constant trekking, the Namib has recorded the largest known elephants in Africa. For a calf, life here in the desert is harsh, and survival lessons are perhaps the most important in the class curriculum.